Hi boys and girls, Brucey here with another Logic Quick Tip and today we're going to be saving you even more time. We're going to be talking about defaults. Defaults are a way of uh, opening plugins, for example, um, with a default setting, which could be something you saved as a preset and obviously presets are a way of you saving your own um, settings that you really, really like. But this is something which is maybe a little bit different and, and is definitely very, very um time saving if you're using a lot of EQs for example or, or other plugins that you have similar settings on where you want to start as your base level. Uh, so with no further ado let's get on. I'm going to show you how I set up my channel EQ. So I'll, I'll open it up and as you'll see this is the factory default and by default uh, the high pass and the low pass filter are switched off and the analyzer is switched off. Now that's fine and good, you might be well happy with that but uh, I'm not because I always tend to put on uh, a little bit of a high pass filter um, because a lot of the stuff I, I might be recording is vocals or acoustic guitar and stuff at home and there's always a lot of nastiness floating around in the low end that you don't want um, so I'm always having to switch that on and um, that's not good because it's time it's you know it doesn't take a second to switch it on but if you're adding like 50 tracks that's that's quite time consuming when all you can do is set it to say a value maybe I don't know, 45 uh, I'm going to change the slope down a little bit so it's not as harsh. Um, so yeah, around mains frequency there, maybe push it up a little bit further. Again, I can adjust this down very easily depending on the source material, but at least it's there, switched on, ready to go. Um, the same with the high pass. Uh, I tend to put that on just to get rid of some of the, the high end stuff. Just uh, quite a steep filter there, just at the very, very high end. Again, I can turn it off if I don't need it, um, but it's there. It saves me having to switch it on for every single channel if I'm doing a lot of work. Uh, the other thing that I like to have on is the analyzer. So I switch the analyzer on. So how do I save that? So it's the same every time. All I have to do is go up to here and do save as default. And this now has become the user default. So if I go in and add another track, let's add in um, another audio track there we go uh, bring that up there's nothing on here I'm going to double click on this to bring up channel EQ there we go with my settings good to go so I think that is a real time saver again as well it's an, another reason for having the high pass on is because um, you know mixes can get muddy especially if you're doing a lot of work in a, maybe a suboptimal mixing environment uh, you when you can tend to overemphasize the bass because you haven't got adequate bass monitoring going on it's, it's kind of good to just uh, filter out some of that low end stuff it reduces some of the muddiness for your mix um yeah i hope that was useful yeah. 